Hey guys, Mike here. Um, okay, so this weekend was extremely interesting, especially for my um, goals and the things that I'm trying to achieve physically. Um, a buddy of mine went ahead and competed in a strongman competition for the first time. Um, and the strongman competition was held at FitCon um, here in Fort Worth. Uh, FitCon is... I don't know too much as to where it came from, who made it, and all of that fun stuff. I just know that um, the goal of it was to, to kind of... Well, it's a fitness convention, so they had different sports, different athletics, um, different vendors, stuff like that, come out and really promote what they do. Um, a couple of big name people came out. I know Steffi Cohn was out there, which I was excited to see. Um, the guy I was really looking forward to um, seeing was actually Tony with Real World Tactical. Um, he's always been a bit of an inspiration to me. I really like the stuff that he does. Um, he he does this crazy workout stuff. He You probably saw him on Instagram already. He usually... Um, He'll combine things like powerlifting, uh, squats, deadlifts, bench presses, stuff like that, and he's he goes really heavy. But he also does things like throw tires over his head and uh, martial arts and stuff like that. So it's been always really fun to follow him on Instagram and just kind of see what he does. Anyways, what I'm trying to get at, um, I don't want to make this video too long, is the one thing I've been struggling recently has been motivation. Um, I've been looking for motivation. I've been looking for reasons to get up in the morning and do what I need to do to hit my goals. Uh, what's kind of funny about all of that is as I was leaving a convention, Strongman was done. I'd seen all the vendors. I had listened to a couple things that um, people had said. I walked past um, the panels where they kind of interview some of the people that are there. And there was a gentleman um, who, who was overweight, but he was trying to hit... He was trying to do better for himself. He was trying to to drop some weight, to to do better. He has a busy life. Um, he has a very busy life. He he works four jobs. Um, and he was just pretty much just asking for motivation and maybe some tips on what he can do to get to the point of losing weight. And there was four people up there, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not great with everybody in the fitness world, um, but there was four people up on stage, and Tony was one of them. The other three pretty much just kind of gave to generic stuff. Hey, maybe start walking, um, be in a calorie deficit, which is all great advice, but it's fairly generic. Um, the reason I am here to talk to you guys is, A, I love the way Tony handled that whole thing. Um, Tony ended up being the last one to speak outside of the host. And first thing he did was just ask questions. Um, he asked things like, hey, are you able to even walk outside of your house? Um, do you trust your neighborhood? Guy said no. Um, what's your schedule like? How much do you work? Guy said four jobs. Um, and I'm sorry if I keep saying guy, I do not know what his name was. I kind of walked up right at right as that whole conversation started. Um, but yeah, so Tony was just like, okay, stop looking for motivation. And this is the message that really stuck with me. Stop looking for motivation. Um, to paraphrase what he said, he pretty much just, you have to have discipline, you have to find within yourself to just get up and just do what you need to do. Um, it is going to be freaking hard, it is going to be uncomfortable. Um, you need, he, he said, go to the gym, go to the gym. That's 50% of it already. If all you do is walk for five minutes, you already did more than yesterday. Um, but then the next day, go back to the gym again, and it's going to suck. But go to the gym, walk for 10 minutes. Next day again, again, it's gonna suck. Go to the gym, 15 minutes. You start adding on the time that you're spending at the gym, at the end of the month, hell, if you're there 30 minutes an hour, awesome, you've just gotten better. Um, same thing with food. Like, don't cut away everything, but you have to start doing better, even if that means maybe stopping a bite or two into your food, or just eating less, or choosing just that, that broccoli over the junk or even if it's just a one meal like just start doing better and you're gonna start being better but stop looking for motivation start working towards your discipline um, I really like the message um, and I think that is something that I needed to hear myself so I was pretty happy that that kind of came along especially and this is where where things get rough for me sometimes I'm um, talking personally I 
Uh, my girlfriend and I, we end up speaking this weekend. Um, she saw that I've been trying, even though I've been trying to lose weight, even though I've dropped to 30 pounds almost, I was scrolling back into some of my old habits. And she simply asked me what I wanted. Um, what am I looking for? What are my goals? And the fact of the matter is, though I have a couple of goals written up, I don't have clear goals of what I want to do with when I've achieved all of this. Um, she asked me if I want to be like the fitness people that I see and the answer was yes but not to the extent to where my life revolves around it. Um, I want to get to the point to where I'm happy with myself and comfortable with myself and doing what I need to do with myself. Um, and so she kind of gave me the kick in the ass. I'm sorry my French. I'll bleep this out I suppose but she kind of gave me the kick that I needed to go you just need to do what you need to do and figure it out um, she keeps having a phrase that says I want to keep you around for as long as she can and it's something to kind of just keep in the back of my head and so um, I changed some workouts around um, I'll be doing a lot more high rep stuff a lot more cardio uh, really just things to be healthier and lose the weight so when I do get down to what I want to do, I've lifted and I haven't lost most of the muscle mass, but I have gone ahead and gotten a lot healthier and then I can start working towards all of my strength goals. I still want to be able to squat and deadlift what I do, but I also need to start looking at, I'm 34. Um, not that that's old, but it does say that I need to start looking into my mobility and my joint health and stuff like that. So that's going to be stuff that I will be working on and will most likely be writing about and showing you guys how ridiculous it is. Um, I grew up in Germany and, and we have this phrase that pretty much says that we're as a flexible as a train track. And frankly, I think I've seen train tracks more flexible than I am. Um, so I'll be working towards that too. Um, this is a new channel. I appreciate anybody that's watching this. Um, follow along, watch me on my journey. Hopefully you'll learn something else. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. I don't have a set plan or schedule as to when I'm going to be posting videos. I'm posting two videos today. I might not have another video for two weeks. I'm going camping with the dog this weekend. Who knows if I'll be posting anything. Um, hit that notification, know when I'm posting stuff, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.